Hey everyone, I thought I'd share something with you all that happened happened this week. Um, not, not a bad thing, it's a good thing. And the uh, thing is, I was in a presentation to a customer based out of Mexico this week. And the salesperson spoke, um, spoke fluent Spanish, uh, but me, not so much. So throughout the presentation, the salesperson was switching between English and then to... Um, uh, convey more information he'd switch to Spanish and then swap back to English so although it wasn't a problem there were sections of the presentation that I wasn't um, uh, understanding or barely barely understanding with my limited Spanish and we had closed captioning turned on that was uh, translating the uh, English spoken uh, portions into Spanish and that was for the customer's benefit. But the again, the translation didn't work the other way, or the closed captioning didn't work the other way, uh, going from Spanish to English. And uh, I turned on the translation option inside of Teams, and uh, that uh, wasn't uh, doing, doing a lot for me either. So I thought that there's got to be a a better way in the future that I could go out and have a, a presentation and then if someone speaks in Spanish, show closed captioning in English. And if someone's speaking in English, then show closed captioning in, in Spanish or whatever language we may be working on. And I did that, or I worked out a way that I can do that. It's a simple hack uh, using OBS and also the inbuilt translator service that's inside of uh, PowerPoint. So I thought that I'd uh, share with you how I did this. It's a, it's a more of an intermediate to an, an advanced hack because we have to go out and set up a couple of things and use some other tools for the, for the translation. But it may be, may be useful and uh, you all may uh, find this a good demonstration technique to use in the future if you want to. So, so let, let's take a look and I'll show you how I did this. So to illustrate this, I've... Uh, I looked around, I was trying to find a, uh, a good sort of Spanish-speaking video that I could, could use. And I found, found this presentation, uh, a TED Talk by Loretta Bravo. And uh, she's talking about AI and she's talking about it all in Spanish. So if I play it, then you'll see, um, if you're like me, then uh, even though I'm sure it's very interesting, then I can't understand a thing that she's saying. Una aplicación que ve qué, qué deporte hago durante el día. Sabe si caminé, sabe si salí a trotar, si ando en bicicleta, cuánto tiempo estuve en auto. Es mucha. La... So, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the inbuilt translator that's available within our PowerPoint to go out and translate for me. So if you haven't seen the uh, subtitles option here uh, within PowerPoint, then it's pretty neat because what we can do is we can go out and we can say what is our spoken language and then what is the subtitle language. And then also we can go out and say what microphone are we using for the um, input for the translation. And I'll get to this in just a second and show you, show you how I did this. But if we go out and turn this on, and then just go into a slideshow mode. Then it's going to be listening down here for the um, translation. Now it's set for Spanish, so it's not, not really the best right now, but what happens is that if I go out and I start playing the uh, Spanish uh, presentation, then this is what's going to happen información que nosotros estamos generando cada día. Pero la verdad es que no son solo mis datos. Son mis datos, tus datos, tus datos, tus datos, los datos de todos. Y no son solo los datos de los celulares. Nosotros durante el día entramos a la farmacia, ¿cuál es su número de root? En, la, en el supermercado, en los centros comerciales, cada actividad que nosotros realizamos. So that's pretty neat. Now I'm going out and I'm translating everything that's coming through through the audio. 
and it's giving me the Spanish translation. Again, it's still not the, because it's going from uh, Spanish to English, then the my translations are coming through uh, really bad, uh, as you can guess. So I'm going to get out of PowerPoint and come back here. Now, the uh, one of the things with the translation is that it needs to have a microphone that is being used for the translation. And the, the problem is that all of the, all the microphones that we have here are actually microphones, so they're not pulling in the system, system audio. So that's, a, that's a, a problem. So what I had to do is I had to uh, use another piece of technology, which is called voice meter, to go out and capture the audio and treat it like a microphone. So this is where it gets a little bit complicated. So this is voice meter potato, and this is a, it's a virtual mixing board. And what it allows you to do is it allows us to um, create uh, virtual inputs or um, microphones that we can use. And then it also allows us to pull in information from applications and also pull in uh, audio from microphones. And uh, I've got, just to give you a little bit of an overview, I've got my, a number of microphones here. So I've got a Sound Blaster, I've got my uh, embedded microphone and my Yeti Blue, which is the one that I'm actually talking to right now. And then what this does is I can go out and I can tell the system where do I want to uh, export this out to. So the first step is that we go out and we choose our, choose our microphone. Then also we go out and create these outputs and there's an option here that we can output audio to voice meter and this works like a, a little little mini speaker. And then what we can do is we can then um, connect this up to different connectors here. So I won't go into detail here with voice meter, but the trick is that you actually go out and use this voice meter um, auxiliary jack, the virtual jack, and then you say, where do I want to pipe it out to? The important thing is to pipe it out to the uh, voice meter virtual input. And then we'll see that over here, we're actually getting sound coming through. So when I go back to my subtitle settings, then everything that is uh, being played on my PC, uh, regardless of whether it's at my microphone or whether it's um, uh, something else, is going to be output to this um, auxiliary output, which is my virtual cable. And this is then going to be picked up by uh, the PowerPoint so that then it will create the translations that you saw um, uh, automatically and show them to us. So now that we've got the translation um, being configured and will run in real time, then I'll show you how I then use that inside of a presentation to create live translations, sort of as we're doing demonstrations, not necessarily just in Teams. So I've got my PowerPoint here. I'm just going to go into uh, PowerPoint mode, and uh, this is now running in the background. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to OBS. So within OBS, I've got a, a scene here that's just for closed captioning. So I actually have a, a three different PowerPoints. I've got one that goes from English to English, Spanish to English, and then English to Spanish. And uh, I actually noticed that I had the wrong PowerPoint there, but I'm just going to turn on this uh, Spanish, uh, Spanish to English. And uh, so this is going to be translating everything that I'm saying that's going through in Spanish. So again, if I turn, if I start this up, what? Una cosa sería decir, OK, somos los puros humanitos los que estamos generando información. Pero no... And you can see that the sound that's coming through the speakers is coming through into the uh, PowerPoint presentation. So now if I go out and if I look at my uh, scenes, I've got a scene here that is for my right monitor. And I'm running that video here inside of... Uh, inside of OBS as a scene. So I've got that, uh, the 
my third screen here. And also I've got the uh, closed captioning showing up down here on the bottom, which is pretty neat. So now I can go out and I can just play this. So now I can go out and just play the, play the video. No. A esto tenemos que sumar lo que se llama Internet de las Cosas. Los dispositivos están también generando datos, datos y más datos. Las cámaras de tránsito, las cámaras en los mismos locales, mi estufa en la casa, que se conecta a Internet y yo puedo controlar la temperatura desde el trabajo y también registra cuál es la temperatura durante todo el día en mi casa. Cada vez van a ser más. So how cool is that? Now I can have my presentations and uh, if I want to, I can flip between the different languages and show the, show the closed captioning along the way. I think uh, this is a really powerful uh, demonstration tool and also starts including uh, people in the conversation even if they don't speak uh, the language that's being spoken, for example, Spanish. So uh, that's uh, what I wanted to show today and I hope this was interesting. And uh, uh, if you want to get in contact with me, then all my information is down here. And uh, um, have, a, have a great day and uh, demo on.